fathers um let me just say mimi nimezaliwa hapa 90s huko mwanzo tukianza let's go to by maybe uh, 80s tukirudi nyuma pale kidogo our fathers didn't have google they didn't have internet they didn't have smartphones but you would wake these people up and give them the bible and they would preach and there would be so much power there will be tangible evidences i once saw my father we went to preach somewhere in a village called mupulusu western huko ndani and that time akachukua gari kaisha mafuta akaingia kwa mtoni akachota maji akainua akasema mungu geuza maji kwa mafuta na akaika kwa gari na kwa mafuta i i i still remember that vividly i think i was about maybe 7 or 8 years i still remember very vividly why were they able to do things like those ones because they believed in the power of god's word and they applied the word Today if you tell people the Lord says repent repent turn away from your wicked ways there's too much comfort someone says how can i for faith eating my focus meal a day and go to a mountain somewhere to preach some of us we were trained in the mountains me live in Shoni you are 3 years old nilikuwa in the mountain na my dad na sio mountain kama is modern mountains where you given hot water and a good place to sleep there were caves there were caves where you would literally go under a cave and you would see there were snakes and other east, you know stuff moving there and that's where we were trained that's where we were trained so w- when we are now prophesying we're not prophesying because it fell on us by default we didn't get what people are now calling quote and quote impartation we labored for it so when we are coming to prophesy we're not speaking what we think we are speaking what we are hearing so there is let, less of uh implementation or the results of the word because many people are not doers of the word we are more of motivational speakers even you look at the sermons today they have changed you will hear someone say blind bartimaeus he was blind spiritually no the man was blind physically because there is no power to lay hands on the blind eyes and they pop open so what we are doing we are reducing the power of the word to sound more motivational when you keep off akiro ina kusumbua hapana There are people the Bible says the gods of this world have blinded their eyes from seeing the truth. Mm-hmm. There are people who need to be told you are blind physically, we lay hands on them, their eyes open up. They know the truth of the word. People don't don't want to do uh due diligence after you've been preached to in church. Do you go home and study the word? Paul akambia uh, Timothy, study to show yourself approved We don't preach because we are good orators. We preach because we have been approved. We have studied the word. We we know the power of what we speak. Mm-hmm. When we say God says be healed, we know what we are saying. When we stand after the service we say may the face of God shine upon you. May your week be blessed. We're not saying that as another closing prayer sermon. No. We are saying because we know your week will be blessed. Mm-hmm. And if you believe them and you do that word, it becomes a reality. Mm-hmm. So our generation has to go back to the word. It has to go back to flipping the pages of the scripture. Today if you tell someone open the book of Jude, they'll go to the table of contents. How are you Jude go up? Ukimwambia fungua Malachi, atakusumbua hapo kidogo. We don't know some scriptures in the Bible. We we when we in high school we used to write letters to girls. Tulikuwa tunatumia Songs of Solomon. Tuna tafuta scripture pale kwa kwa Songs of Solomon, tunachukua tunaandika barua kwa msichana kwa shule and it it looked fun until when we came out of school then we realized we are using the scripture for the wrong reasons we didn't understand that was Christ addressing the church to come back to him as his bride so we were using it for love you know ile mapenzi ya high school and because at that place we were supposed to grow in the word we missed the stage today people are becoming pastors our jude basic sa biblia our jude ile ndiko kwa sababu gani but they want to sound deep but they are very shallow that's what the problem is and then another thing that causes the word of god not to happen is that there's a lot, a lot of apostasy uh, apostasy i mean that there's a lot of complacency and there's a lot of uh, assumption people go to church because it's a sunday it's a lazy day there's less nothing to do so they'll find themselves in church some go to church because ndio siku da vangu mpia when they show off when they home. some go to church because it's just another day where i can meet my friend in church catch up after church we have a th- we have coffee they don't understand we are coming to the presence of god we have come to meet him and be privileged to worship him in the splendor of his holiness just to be found in his presence it's a privilege we have taken it as a right i can go to church how i want today if 
even this Sunday, when I touch the check, Kuna was a good thing about that. At a chukwa simu, at a shindakwa WhatsApp, and a dangaya na soma scripture, or na chat. Because we have lost the reverence for the word of God. So the, the effectiveness of the word can't flow in us because we have made a lot of apostasy has come in. So it's it's come as you are, Mungu anaelewa. Na tujui Mungu anaelewa, lakini tujui kwamba kuna kuna misingi ambazo Mungu ndio ndio atembee katika kwa watu wake, lazima misingi fulani ziwe. Hawezi tembea mahali kuna kuna utakatifu. So makanisa mengi pia unapata ameacha utakatifu imefungiwa ime kwa backdoor. There's no holiness, there's no righteousness. So people have, have allowed everything come as you are but we're not transforming them. We are not changing them. The aspect of people coming to the church is don't forsake the assembly of believers as others are in the habit of doing. The whole purpose of coming in that place is to be transformed by the word. So if the word can transform you in the church, it can transform you in your house. Wow, that's so powerful. I wish we had more time. I'm sure you've not exhausted what, I, what you wanted to say, but what you've spoken is just wisdom from above. And I'm sure there are people who really love to come where you fellowship or just even for mentorship. How can they get you? Uh, currently, we're in town. Our church is at uh, Hotel Central Park uh, along Sheikarome Street. Where we are on the fourth floor. Uh, that's where we are doing church for now. Uh, post COVID, COVID messed up many pastors, but we thank God He's given us the grace to make a comeback. So we, we are there. Uh, if we are allowed, you can give the number. I don't know if it's yes, allowed. Yes, of yeah, we have our church number, not my personal number. Yeah. We have the church number. Mm-hmm. So when they call the number, someone might bring uh, direct them on how they can come to church. Uh, it's 07 Repeat again. Zero seven nine eight three two zero seven nine eight one seventy three twenty seven. Oh yeah. Wow. I was almost giving my number. Yeah, yeah. and one seventy three twenty eight. Do you have your personal uh, Facebook page? Yes, Pastor Steve Omodex. Oh, Search that on Instagram, every other platform. You will find me Pastor Steve Omodex. S T E V E O M O D E C X. Once again, I'm so grateful that you came, Prophet. You've really blessed us. You're full of wisdom. Continue praying for this country and us as well. And we are so privileged that you came. It's an honor to have me. Hope to see you again. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Barikio. So So I believe the Prophet of God has blessed you. And also you have heard what the Lord has said. It's a matter of going back and just seeking Him. Remember today, we are still talking about the Word of God, but we are going for a short commercial break, but we'll be right back.